my god. Oh my god. What? I can't make this up. I love colorful things, so we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Very Challenge Gray Generation. Last time, our lovely, dear, amazing, sweet baby Angel Skylar got her heart ripped out of her chest <laughs> by an impeachment. Shmay. Jesse and Peter Shmay, they crushed her heart and her spirit. It was a really bad breakup, but we do still have two more failed relationships before our final relationship, but we got plenty of time. Also, please, please, please make sure to keep making your neat Sims for Skylar and putting them in the Sims 4 gallery using hashtag Kelsey not so very challenge female Sims and female presenting Sims only. Thank you. So without further ado, let's jump in to the challenge. Oh my gosh, the summer is honestly devastated. She's very sad. She's like, time to wear black. She's having a mood swing. I'm sad because I'm sad. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. And then she also has breakup blues. A relationship coming to an end in a sad event in any Sims life. Wait, she's like aging up. Like, really soon, right? Oh my God, her birthday's tomorrow. I forgot. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to like rip through these next two relationships actually. Maybe not rip, but we we definitely need to be thinking about our next gen, which is honestly terrifying. Okay. Woo, feels bad. You need some fun. I know what you should do. You should shoot around some baskets, get your fitness skill level up. She only has one left of the bodybuilder. What are you making? A pot of camper stew. You're gonna make everyone fart. Summer. Oh, she reached to this little eight. Let's go, girl. Oh, she's stopping to cry, my angel. Oh my God. Maybe you should text a friend. Maybe text Cannon Edo. Send him a little tad text. I'm so sad that her and Jesse didn't work out. It's so sad. Oh, we're being haunted. Is it by our dog still? Yep, Rover is haunting us. Okay. Oh, they're getting a nice little hug. Maybe enthuse about some new albums. Maybe she's listening to Red by Taylor Swift. It's a perfect breakup album. I really think she's feeling that energy right now. She wants to call someone on the phone. Ooh, you should call Cannon on the phone. Who is our other friend that we kind of invited over that was chilling? Maybe Hannah? Maybe Tracy. I think Tracy for sure was like a friend of ours. Ooh, we're feeling very confident. This is perfect. Oh, let's give a big treat to Rover. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we'll be like moving tomorrow. I don't even have a house in mind. Oh my God. No, it's almost summer times. Okay. Well, we're not moving. I guess we won't move until after mom dies. <laughs> this season went too fast. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, this is really sad. It's mom's final days. Should we get some like more photos with her? Oh my gosh. Let's take some photos with mom. I can't. I can't right now. This is upsetting me greatly. Oh, of Sim with pet? Oh my God. You can take a picture of Summer with Rover. Wait, this is so cute. We'll have to take photos of our Sims with our pets later in life too. This is so cute. Okay, here we go. Oh, so cute. All right, we got a couple of those photos and then I want some photos summer. Okay, we're gonna take a photo together as well. There's one of mom and me. Get two of those, maybe get some happy ones. Oh, cute. <laughs> Luckily, we have a ton of photos and I think they're all pretty good quality. They're outstanding. Okay, good. I'm really glad. Then you can go get some food, okay? Oh my gosh, I can't believe summer is going to be gone in the next few days. Luckily, Skylar's gonna live forever because she uh, she's gonna be a bodybuilder. Grandma Skylar's gonna be around a long time, which I'm very happy because she's gonna have a big family. So she'll be able to visit all of her kids and grandkids. Okay, she ate her food, yay. Can you clean that up, please? and then turn off the TV. Great. Use the restroom. Be like un champion. Maybe rough house with the dog. The dog looks upset. Wants to go outside and potty. You are a ghost. I don't think you need to go outside and potty. I can't believe tomorrow is her last day at school and she's aging into an adult. All right, we're sleeping until school. Um, no. Would you be more interested in hanging out more? Clearly, Jesse Petrish is crying. Called us crying. It's like, hey, I miss you. I want you back. And we're like, no, I don't want you back. 
Summer's throwing away some ghost poo. Even in death, she's still taking care of Rover. Starts working about an hour. Maybe it is time for her to retire. I know I pretty much let all my Sims work until they die, and I normally don't let them retire. Although I don't really think that Summer's the type to retire early. I think Skylar will though. I think Skylar will retire at some point, but I just don't see Summer as doing that. Like her whole life has been about space and being an astronaut. Why would she stop now, you know? She is such a responsible Sim. She's literally just taking out the trash, cleaning up the dog poo, everything. And then Skylar, last time in her little school uniform. This is probably my favorite version. I know it changes almost every time, but this little turquoise, it's really doing it for me with her like kind of gray look. Oh, I love it. Goodbye, Skylar. Have fun at school. I love you. Okay, and Summer's going off to work. This might be one of her last days at work. Running the class. The teacher had to step out for a second to talk to the parent. She asked Skylar to run the class for a little while. Should Skylar see following the lesson plan the teacher laid out or do something fun and easy with the class? Last time she did fun stuff and then they were all punished and everyone hated her. So I feel like she, this time she's learned from it. Even though she probably has senioritis today, she's still gonna follow the plan. So Skylar, uh, even though this wasn't Skylar's idea, classmates are angry about having her in charge. Oh my God, Ugh. whatever, it's the last day. I don't care. Cannonito's here! Oh my gosh. I think I need to give him a makeover. Let's give him a makeover if he's gonna be in our life, you know. Oh, look, he's he's a babysitter nanny for his career. That's very sweet. Up until now, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that she doesn't like male sims but I don't know if she's like fully figured that out yet. I think she's still in the experimental phase. So it may be that like maybe she dates Canon and then they realize they're better as friends. I wish I could ask what you guys think, but I can't because I'm way too far ahead. Let's see if there's maybe any custom content. I don't have a ton of custom content hair. This one's good and it gives me a similar look to the one we just had on him. So I think that'd be good. These eyebrows are too narrow. Those are good. He's a really handsome Sim. I'm just saying, maybe they should date. Afterwards, she probably won't date any more male sims but she they did kiss once like they they do have like a thing going on maybe he has like long lashes oh we need some skin beads maybe i like this one on him i think that one's nice this one's nice that one's nice on him i like the sweaters on him too i like this i think this looks nice on him cannon looks cute all right so for cold weather i think maybe that looks really good on him he's so handsome but i feel like he would be more of a like snowboarder kind of style. I think this looks good. So this is Cannonito's makeover. I think he looks amazing. I want some drama. I mean, we just did some drama last episode, but I want more drama. And Cannon just showed up at our doorstep. Kind of high school sweetheart, but not really. I wonder if he's gonna stick around until we get home. It's almost three. <gasps> We're home! No, don't leave Cannon! Cannon, 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 Cannon. Cry about the breakup to Cannon. Cannon, come back! He's over here for her birthday. She immediately put on a face mask. Classic. Oh, hello. Hello. It's Dave Barry? Excuse me. I gotta meet this kid. How are you related to us? I feel like all the berries are related to us. Okay, Dave Barry. All right, so Mint. Oh, look at Mint's family tree with Jade and Hunter and Poppy and Forrest. Dave Barry is Megan's kid who Megan was once married to Forrest and they had Nicole, but she had Dave and Dax with a different person and Graham and Vivian were forced by a different person as well. Dave is distantly related to us, but not a direct like blood relative. Give him some residence keys. I wonder who, what pets she could adopt that are like gray pets. We're gonna pull out our computer. I just wanna see what it would be like. Okay, here's some dogs. Hmm, none of these dogs look particularly gray to me. So I'm gonna wait. Wait, it's her birthday today though, isn't it? Yeah, it's her birthday. Okay, so why don't we get some leftovers, but then you, you should go make a cake for yourself. We'll invite some people over. Cannon's already here hanging though. He's so cute. I kind of ship it. I don't know why I still ship it. <laughs> when I'm like, I think eventually she's just gonna love women, but right now I'm like, you know, this is what my thought process is. Okay, like maybe she is a little more on the bisexual spectrum, but leaning towards women more, at least for now. And then maybe later, you know, cause sexuality can change throughout your life as well. So it doesn't necessarily mean that she won't be just exclusively loving women later. Full disclosure, I'm gonna get really into the deep, but I was thinking she does need to have the next gen. And I did want her to maybe have
have the next gen young and maybe the person that like gets pregnant with doesn't want to have a kid and that's why they break up. I do think canon might be kind of perfect for that storyline because like they were really young when they met. They've always really liked each other as people. They flirted a little bit. So I feel like if they got together and then like immediately got pregnant, then it would be like, oh no, maybe canon doesn't want to help raise a kid. He kind of pops out, that relationship ends and then she ends up dating uh, another person that doesn't work out and then she ends up finding her person and then they adopt the rest of their family. That's kind of what I've been thinking for the plot of this. I hope you guys like that too. I don't always try to like tell you the plot too much ahead of time because I do like surprises, but I just wanted to let you guys in a little bit on like what is happening in my brain just so that you guys know why I'm like kind of vibing him. Even though I think that Skylar will end up like her forever person is going to be a woman. I think right now he might be kind of perfect for the plot that I had in mind. Oh wait, oh my gosh, she's in bed. Girl, wake up, you got a birthday to have. Okay, let's plan a social event. We're gonna have it here. We need to have a cake. Mom, you're up. Mom, can you finish eating and... <laughs> um, what the flip? Okay, oh my God, oh my God, what? I can't make this up. I don't even know what to do with this. I've been thinking about getting to know Canon Edo a little better. Do you think the two of us should hang out sometime? She's calling Summer. By the way, Canon Edo is way younger than her, number one. Number two, last I checked you were married. And number three, you've definitely flirted with Summer multiple times. I feel like Summer would be like, I'm not sure. I don't think Summer knows that Canon and Skylar have had like a thing necessarily. Early, but I also feel like she'd be like, that's my daughter's like best friend. And he's like much younger than you. Maybe like, no. <laughs> but also she's never gonna say like, no right out to her friend. I wonder how their friendship went with that. Oh my gosh. I mean, Cannonito is a hottie. Alexia, you are married to Blaze Kato, Alexia. Do not go for Cannon. He's like younger than you two. I cannot. He's also like, I believe upstairs in her, her daughter's bedroom. Okay, all her friends are here though. Oh, and Cannon's outfit's kind of not it. Gotta change his party look. I can't I can't have him running around looking like that. We're gonna have kids with you. We can't have this. All right, Cannon, we gotta give you like a cool party look. Part of me is like something easy would be good. I mean, that's easy and he looks cute in it. We'll do this. That's great. I think that's perfect. He, he's a very like casual dude and I kind of like that. He needs to have like a better workout outfit though. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, I like that a lot actually. We'll do that. Perfect. Okay, he looks great. I've checked all of his outfits. They are Kelsey approved. Thank goodness. All right, Summer. Why don't you get over here and make your daughter a sweet little cake, okay? Maybe the burger cake. I feel like that's kind of funny for a Skylar. Oh, Summer really needs to pee. Okay, Summer, everybody's over for the party. Why don't you go pee really quickly before you make that? Because I don't want you to pee while making your daughter's birthday cake. That's just not the way I really want this day to go. I love that Skylar is just talking to Cannon a lot. Maria is feeling flirty. Oh, maybe Maria is kind of into Nicole. Although Nicole a little young for you. But maybe Nicole will age up at some point. Maybe they're closer in age than we think. They kind of look close in age. He's chatting with Megan. Oh, look at Cannon. He's such a sweetheart. We have the cake. Repeat, we have cake. Go put birthday candles on before people try to eat the cake. Okay, let's make like a group. Oh my gosh. I feel like Alexia is way crushing on Cannon. Did you just see her? She's blushing. Okay, at least Cannon's not out here with them. Oh my gosh. This is such a mess. This is such a mess. All right. Why don't you blow out the candles and age up? Up. Everyone's coming over to say hi, happy birthday. Look at Cannon coming over to see Skylar. He's thinking about her for the birthday. Oh my gosh, Alexia. Oh my gosh. All right, can we just like age up? It's still not working. All right, let me see if like I can do it somewhere else. Maybe it's just like this location isn't working, but like if we put this somewhere else, it might work. Go blow out the candles outside. Otherwise, I'll just let you age up naturally. Okay, there she is. There, it's working. Okay, it was just the location. All right, Skylar aged up. I need to look up her last trait. Oh my god. Slob is the last one. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love it. So funny. She's just gonna like not care. Not gonna be clean at all. Oh, but she's gonna marry a neat sim. They're gonna balance each other out. How cute is that? All right, so there we go. She's a slob. She doesn't clean up. We love this for her. Okay, perfect. I'll put this in here and maybe pull everyone to go get the cake. Be like, hey, everybody, you can get cake now. All right, so we're all getting a little slices of cake and she is now officially a young adult a birthday girl. Maybe we can uh, have a little, a little flirt. 
now with, oh my gosh, we can still kiss him. Like the romantic relationship never really went away. She was very, oh my gosh, she's flirting with him from far away. And then he got up. Oh, Cannonito. But he can't be our forever love, which is, I guess, good. Give him a little pep talk. I feel like this is so cute. Oh, she's chatting with him. I really kind of ship this. Oh, our birthday's over. Okay, actions. Disband group. Okay, oh, Cannon sat next to us. <gasps> Cannon sat next to us. Repeat, Cannon sat next to us. Oh my gosh, make a move, make a move. No, make a move, make a move. Go back down, go back down, sit back down. I want you to make a move on him at your birthday. I think that would be so cute. <laughs> He's been trying to, no, Cannon. He's like, I gotta go now. Okay, okay. Well, she's exhausted. So I think she's gonna go to bed and mom is already in bed. We need to clean up, but I guess I'll clean up. Too many bowls and plates from everybody at the party. I just feel like she's a slob. She's like, I don't care about cleaning up these bowls or plates. I'm hearing like a Sim talking. Are you sleep talking, Summer? No, <laughs> Maria's still here. Maria, go home. All right, you need to go. Thank you, goodbye. I'm nervous about Stummer. We're inching close to her last days and I'm just not, I'm not ready for it. But that means Skylar should get her job. Okay, when she wakes up, we're getting a job. Oh my gosh. How exciting is this? <gasps> We're gonna get a job. Oh my gosh, it's also, what? It's Winterfest? No way. Okay, are you excited about today? Do you want me to come over? Yeah, you can come over. I'm a little confused about your vibes lately, but you can come over, it's fine. She came over at 8 a.m., like bright and early for Christmas. I'm sure she's spending time with her family. We give a Winterfest gift. Eh, we don't have anything for you. Let's buy something on Plopsy. Okay, I like the socks. Let's get her socks. I think that's such a funny Winterfest gift is to give a pair of socks. Oh, Skylar's upset about her heartbreak again. Oh, she woke up upset. Oh my gosh. All right, go sing in the shower, sweetie. You need a shower anyway. Here we go. Get your singing up. She's dazed. Why are you dazed? She's a little cried out right now. Oh, and she's farty apparently. Amazing. But I think you should look for a job because you're officially an adult and you need to help pay for your mom. Okay, here we go. She is going to be an athlete. I'm so proud of her. She's gonna be a bodybuilder technically. Although I kind of feel more of like a professional athlete energy from her. I know the gen says aspiration is body or career. Wait, just says career is athlete. Becoming a professional athlete. Okay, so she will become a professional athlete. It is her aspiration that's bodybuilder. Perfect. Oh, she's gonna be a little basketball soccer player. I love that for her. Let's call Cannon and invite Cannon over. It's Christmas, you know, he should be spending it with people that love him, AKA us. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be right over. Oh my gosh, Skylar. And you officially have a job. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Give him a Winterfest gift of, oh, she doesn't have anything for him either. All right, let's buy a gift. Browse Plopsy. I like the little Grim. I'm not gonna lie. Give him the little Grim. Hopefully he likes it. All right, Skylar, go give it to him. Oh, she's so dazed. He's like, for me? She's like, yeah, happy Winterfest. He loves it. Okay, he liked it a lot. Give him like a hug and then maybe, and maybe, Flatter him and then kiss under the mistletoe. Be like, oh, there's there's mistletoe. Cannon. Oh my gosh, their first kiss since they were kids. Oh my gosh. So they're kind of steaming up up here. I'm gonna kind of let this happen. Well, I hang out with Summer here. Summer needs some fun. Why don't you like channel surf? Oh, the gaming console's broken? Oh, easy. Repair. How's Skylar and him going? They're still chilling. Oh, look at the Christmas decorations. They're very cute. Oh my gosh. Why don't you throw that away for your mom? Okay, I know you're a slob, but I think your mom would appreciate it if you helped keep the house clean a little bit. Giving spirit because she gave a gift successfully. I knew that he would love the little whatever it is. Oh, can you sing about the... Winterfest. I know that that's like my favorite thing that she does is like she sings about every holiday. Oh wait, they should become best friends. I can't believe they aren't already best friends. And then sing about Winterfest. There it is. <laughs> if there is a song related to a holiday, she's gonna sing it. Oh, they just became best friends. I feel like they were always best friends, but it's fine. I love her little singing song. Give mom a Winterfest gift. That'd be so cute. Maybe give her, can we give her like one of the prints or do we have to give her all of them? No, I don't want to give her all the prints. Oh, she's feeling so flirty. <gasps> interesting, interesting. That came up all on its own. Blushing, someone or something seems to 
have Skylar blushing. Oh my gosh, okay. Why don't you give him like a little flirt again after you use the toilet? Oh my gosh. Compliment his appearance. Be like, I really like uh, your new style, Cannon. It's really cute. Oh my gosh, the sparks are flying. And mom's like, don't mind me, kids. I'm just in here trying to wash the dishes. Oh my gosh, it's a very suggestive conversation between these two. Ask about Cannon's income, lol. Oh my gosh, ask him to be boyfriend. Maybe ask him if he's single. That's probably a better thing. Are you single? He is single. Okay, yes, thank goodness. Let's challenge to a hoops competition, Cannon. They'll do a cute little flirtatious competition. Why he's going home? No, you cannot. We are doing a hoops competition. Okay, apparently he's not doing the hoops competition. So why don't you practice yourself, I guess? Who's this guy? Matsaru. Does this count as working out? Oh, he does. Oh, heck yeah. All right. There's her little workout. She's so flirty though. She can't stop thinking about Canon. Wait, I want to see their <gasps> lovebirds, best friends, deeply connected. She adores him. Oh, that's very cute. I feel like she should send him a little flirty text. See what's up. She done with her workout yet? No, she's still working out. Oh, it's five. Summer, why don't you uh, cook a grand meal of like a fish dinner for the holiday? And Skylar's still working out. Oh, she did it. She completed her workout. Nice. Send that flirty text though to Cannon. Oh, she can't cause she's not flirty anymore. Rats. She's gonna send him a little texty text anyway. Summer, did you start the meal and then leave in the middle of it? What happened here? Uh, resume the fish dinner, darling. You need to keep your eye on the prize here. I just wanna let you know I followed your advice and chose not to spend more time with Cannonito. Thank goodness, because my daughter just started flirting with him. Oh my gosh, the drama. I'm so glad, Alexia, you are still married. She's so chaotic. I can't, I can't. Oh, Skylar. I feel like she is still feeling very much like a teen maybe i should kind of like adjust some of the things in her bedroom maybe like this could go away and instead we'll put like i don't know some photos of her family up there there we go that one's cute and that one's really cute too all right perfect and we'll add a silver oh my gosh there's silver frames cute why didn't we do that the whole time cute that's nice oh and maybe we don't need this like moon little sticker anymore i feel like that's not the the move for when you're like an adult although we'll still keep a little bit of the twinkly lights because we because we like them but yeah it's looking a little more mature mature it's still like not the most mature like room yet because she just became a young adult so i don't want to like leave behind her teen years too quickly oh my gosh look at her farting you goof okay go sink in the shower again oh cannon's like congratulations on landing that sweet job i think this is gonna be great for you he's so cute and supportive breaks my heart that he doesn't want to have a kid though and she's gonna get pregnant i think they would actually be really good together if they had similar like life goals but they don't <gasps> he wants to go on a Date. Yes, I, I hate that mom's like cooking a grand meal for like dinner and she's like, peace, we're going on a date, mom. Bye. I hope mom is okay when we get back. With that grand meal, but it's just coffee. Like, it's fine. She's going on a date though. Oh, look at them too. Give him like a suave kiss. She's like, hey. Oh, very, very suave. This is so cute on Christmas. A Christmas day. Kiss in the snow. How romantic is that? This woman's freezing to death, but they're vibing in the snow. Oh, how cute are they? Oh my gosh. He's very flirty. All right, let's go in here and order some coffees. She'll have a mocha. I feel like Skylar could be a mocha girl. I miss you even when you haven't left yet, she said to him. That's really cute. I thought he was a rebound, but honestly, I don't know. I really like them together. Together. This is gonna be hard. I hate like changing up the Sims. I always start shipping one and it's hard to let go. Oh my gosh, blow him a or serenade him. That would be so cute. She's having her coffee. He's coming over so she can serenade him. All right, here we go. Have a little serenade girl. Okay, she's just gonna chat with him, I guess. Okay, they're randomly in a conversation with other people, which I don't approve of. Here she goes. It says she's still serenading, but these other people are talking. Oh my gosh, Santa's here. Leland Leone, who's a new Santa. Look at her serenading him. He likes it. He's feeling very flirty. Flirt with him a little bit. Go go hang out with him. Oh, they're canoodling. It's a good date. Maybe confess attraction. Be like, your new makeover is really doing it for me, Cannon. <gasps> 
He whipped out the mistletoe. June and uh, whoever this other guy is, are trying to have a conversation with them, but they're like, we're on a date. Like, please stop talking. Wait, this is the guy that was at our house. Ask about his siblings. Does he have any siblings? He does have siblings. I knew he did. I had such a great time with you. Let's do it again soon. Oh, apparently their date went really well, but she's got to go home to mom because it's 1130 and mom was cooking dinner. He didn't ask her out and she didn't ask him out to be like official, but it was like their first date. So who knows, maybe next time they'll see each other, he'll be like, will you be my girlfriend? But not right now, not right now. We're we're home with mom. How's mom? There it is. Okay, call to grand meal. Be like, daughter, get in here. And daughter's like, I need to pee, I'm sorry. There we go. She's really tired, but she's like, okay, I'm gonna eat the grand meal. Just a mother-daughter Christmas this year. Oh, we still haven't done the hot pot. Come on, Kelsey. I always miss out. They always eat like at different times and I always forget to do hot pot. But oh, they're gonna chat together. Please don't be dying. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It looks like Summer's gonna die like tomorrow or something. Hopefully not. Yay. Okay, we've done like almost all the traditions except for the festive spirits. So maybe we'll uh, belly laugh with mom. We'll do secret handshake. I love that they can do that together. It's so cute. Wombo fast. Oh, they're so cute. Share Winterfest spirit. Our Winterfest was successful. Yes. I nailed it. I nailed it. Skylar. Skylar, you need to go to bed. Go to sleep. Oh my gosh. She is feeling very feisty. <gasps> Summer Tamora's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get her affairs in order. No. Just as we get older. Oh, Summer's never gonna meet a grandkid. Oh, I, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I'm gonna have Siler sleep until it is a normal time. And then we are inviting over Cannon and we are getting pregnant because I wanna have this baby as soon as possible so that Summer can be a part of it. Oh, Rodolfo Akita passed away. Well, we don't care. Look at her, she's even happy. She like does not care that that guy like stalked her her whole life, died. She's like, uh, -uh I'm watching TV. I'm having a good day. I'm enjoying my fireplace as I always do. She loves her fireplace. Ever since she was a girl at her mother's room, she loved a fireplace. We need this guy to come over so we can make him our boyfriend and woohoo and have a baby, okay? We need, I need this. Oh, it's TV season premiere night. Oh, all right, let's go use the toilet. Skylar starts working about an hour. <gasps> it's her first day at work. Is he gonna come over and in time? This is gonna be tough because she has work. The cannon's here. Okay, can, we, we should just be like, I've been thinking about you all night. I want you to be my boyfriend. Oh, I don't know if she'll get pregnant right now. She's got work in 20 minutes. I don't want to rush it too much, but maybe, maybe do take a photo with him. Oh, Cannon and her just became boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't think they're rushing too much though because they've been kind of flirting ever since they were teenagers, so. Oh, look at these two cuties. All right, cute. Three, two, one. All right, she's going to work. Look at her little outfits, even kind of white. It's like kind of a gray white. It's perfect. All right, work hard. Oh, she's already doing this because she's so responsible. Summer is chilling. Maybe you should take the day off. All right, I'm gonna have her take the day off. I don't want her to go anywhere. Quickly take a vacation day and then you're gonna hang out with Cannon today, okay? All right, it might be your last day. Oh God, it is her last day. Oh God, it is. Oh no, it's her last day. She's taking it off. She's retired or whatever, but I don't think she will officially retire because I think it'll make her sad. She's gonna share some singing and loving it tips. He does not need that though. He just <laughs> started dating your daughter. Tell him a funny story. She's just vibing with her daughter's boyfriend. Be like, take good care of her. I feel like Cannon and her, even if they break up, he'll still be probably in her life for the rest of her life. I think they're still gonna be best friends and he's still gonna, you know, be in her, in his daughter's life. Just maybe like not as a parent necessarily. Let's take like a nice bath with some soaks. We'll do a little citrus soak for the yellow gen. We're gonna take really good care of her today because it's probably her last, our last day with summer. I can't, oh, I'm so sad. Here she goes though, she's having her little citrusy bath. What if Skylar's coworkers needs help with a task? Oh, we're gonna rally the team. Skylar talks to various members of the team and they all agree to help the coworker. Everyone takes turns assisting and the whole team feels more bonded afterwards. That's really sweet. Oh, all right. What's next for summer? Ooh, video games. I agree. I agree. You should play some video games because it is your favorite. Genie's Curse. I love it. Let's go play Genie's Curse. Ooh, this one looks good. Get there, girl. You got this. 
Oh, her, her boyfriend headed out. That's very cute. He hung out with Summer for most of the day, but she doesn't need anyone to hang out with her. She's a loner. She's having a lot of fun though. She's super focused. <gasps> we got it. We schmoozed with the boss for like a second and we got there. We're gonna get a promotion today. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I saw some one thing today that reminded me of you. Has anything reminded you of me lately? Yeah, uh, anything that's chaotic. Oh my gosh, Summer is literally still playing games. Okay, she's done playing games. What does she want to do? Read something. Let's read something. Okay, whatever you want, Summer. It's gonna read though, maybe use the toilet. You can read on the toilet. That's like a perfectly fine thing to do. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, baby's first promotion. And she needs to pee. Skylar has now be promoted to locker room attendant. She will now make an additional three simoleons per hour for a grand total of 19 per hour. She's also receiving the following bonus, 110 simoleons and an athlete's trophy case. And Summer has earned quite a bit of money on her day off. They are rolling in the simoleons right now. Ooh, here's the trophy case. Okay, we will be putting that in our home. I wanna just make sure that we can see this. Put that like up here. That's for her trophies whenever she gets them. Good for you, girl, you got a trophy case. Oh wait, I was gonna have her get pregnant. Okay, let's quick. <laughs> I want us to at least be pregnant while mom's alive. If I can and eat over, mom's gonna watch the TV premiere. I gotta get this done. I gotta get, Cannon, come over. We need to get knocked up so that mom can be here when we're knocked up, all right? Let's, let's go. All right, Cannon's here. Express some admiration, go chat with him. And then we need to try for a baby. Yes, go try for a baby. <laughs> They've been thinking about each other all day. They're newly in a relationship. So they, they gonna go have some fun together. Okay, they're gonna woohoo in her childhood bedroom. Oh my gosh. I, are we are we starting the next gen right now? I think that's plum gen. Go check, go check if you're pregnant. Go take a pregnancy check. Quick, Skylar. I need to know if you're pregnant so you can tell your mom. Yes! <laughs> We're eating for two. Oh! She's gonna go tell Cannon that she got pregnant. Did you see his face? He looks like he's faking it. Maybe just got saturation. I feel like he'll be vibing for a bit. Go tell your mom. Go tell your mom. Share big news. I can't wait. Oh, she's so young. Skylar got started quick. I feel like Summer got started late. So they're kind of opposites. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we might already be we're already pregnant. Mom, I'm pregnant. She's like, oh my gosh. She's gonna be a grandma. She's so happy oh we did it for you but don't tell anyone oh my gosh celebrate the new partner i think he's gonna be a good dad even though the relationship's doomed talk about pregnancy she's gonna bond with her mom about all of her pregnancy stuff joke about silly baby names oh my gosh look at her complaining about how it feels to be pregnant the worst part though is that she's gonna have to work out a lot <laughs> And you can't really do that a lot when she's pregnant. So she might not level up very quickly in her career at first, but it's all good. I have a feeling that Skylar would be the type that would want to get married because they're pregnant. And Cannon would be the type that's like, no, I don't want to get married. And they're just like, yeah, we don't think the same. Like he wants to do other stuff when he gets older and she wants to have a family and he doesn't. So they'll just have that, but they're not going to discuss this quite yet because I want them at least one happy episode of the family together. So let's Let's watch the season premiere together. What's she doing? Aww, they're having their sweet little moments. I'm so sad that this is uh, doomed to fail, but I feel like you guys are gonna make some really awesome sims for Skylar to get married to eventually. So I'm excited for Skylar's future relationships. <laughs> But right now it's a really cute one. I do like them together. All right, go watch the TV premiere. Go watch the TV premiere with your daughter, okay? Look at these two enjoying the TV premiere night. Skylar's pregnant with the next generation. She's singing, singing some songs. Summer's celebrating as well. Thinking about babies. Oh my gosh, I'm like really nervous as to when it's gonna go down. But I think I will have her retire. I think it's time. I don't want her to go back to work. I wanna be with her the whole time. She retired as a space ranger. She will receive a pension check every day based on her salary at the time of retirement. Time to kick back and relax. I'm so proud of her. Cute little Skylar is already in bed because she's tired from baby. Meanwhile, mom's watching the whole TV premiere. Skylar missed like most of it. <laughs> 
But Summer watched it, so that's good. She's gonna go clean up around the house for Skylar. Oh my God. I love Summer so much. I feel like Summer might be one of my favorites besides Mint. Mint was probably my favorite because she's like our first, but I've loved all of the Sims in these generations, but I can't believe we're already kind of moving on. Let's play density effects. But she had some quality time with Skylar. TV season premiere day for Skylar was awful because she slept through all of it, but it was great for Summer. Summer enjoyed the CZ. Oh, and her dog is coming down. No, my heart. Oh no. Summer Tamora has lived a long life, but her time has finally come. She's dying of old age. And of course, Rover is by her side, welcoming her into the afterlife. Granted, I feel like Summer will be happy to be reunited with her long love. Oh my gosh. Look at them on here. Oh, my babies. Look at her when she was a baby. Look at her when she was getting married. Ugh. She does look like spitting image of her dad. I'm not gonna lie. They look similar, but Skylar's 100% Kikiru. Oh no. Goodbye, Summer. Oh my gosh, and Skylar just woke up and she's pregnant. Oh, and her mother just died. Look at how sad she is. Oh my gosh. No, she's feeling confident. Nope, there it is. It hit her, mom's dead. Oh no. Can we put it next to Kikiru's? Yeah, I'm gonna put them next to each other. Oh my gosh, I'm devastated. Oh, and she's pregnant. She's got work in six hours. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. I can't believe Skylar's all alone, but she won't be alone for long because we're gonna have a baby, which I'm very happy about that. Oh my gosh, but this is so sad. I think she's gotta move. I think this is too big of a house for, for just Skylar at the moment. I don't really want her to live here alone. All right, why don't you go sing in your shower as usual? Okay, why don't you mop that up? And then why don't we practice singing a bit? I do want to go up in that skill. She wants to sing her, her baby to sleep. Oh, yay, we reached singing level eight. She now sings completed written lyrics via the guitar, piano, microphone, and or by clicking on herself. Very cool. She's feeling confident for work though, so that's really good. I think this might be the last day in our house. Oh, Skylar needs to provide tough feedback to a coworker. She'd be straight and honest. Just just like her mom. Skylar approached her coworker and gave them honest feedback. She also worked with her coworker to create a plan to correct the problem. Her boss praised Skylar for working well with her teammates. That almost is always what we get. Okay, but let's uh, micromanage her work day. Boom, baby. Yes, she got another promotion to team mascot. Oh, not her look. Oh, not the look at all. But she does make an extra nine civilians per hour for a grand total of 28 per hour. She's received the following bonus, 132 civilians and some new clothes. But I think since she's got a promotion, maybe the promotion is like at a new location is my guess. So she won't be in Mount Komorebi or at least not in this area anymore. We're gonna be moving her out and moving her into her own new place. So we're gonna grab all of our favorite. Oh my gosh, look, this is her mom stuff. I don't have it in my heart to sell these things. Even though I don't know if we'll be putting them as decor in the next house, I can't sell her mom's like stuff from work right now. So I can't leave it all behind. Although I can leave some of it behind. We'll maybe put the some of the workout stuff. So far, so good. I think we grabbed everything from downstairs. This makes sense why she got pregnant so young too, is because she like her whole life, she like wanted more of a relationship with her dad and she didn't have that. And then she wanted her mom to see her kid. I think it just makes sense why she's just so quick about everything and really wanting a family is because of all that stuff. Okay. I think that's like all that we really want to take with us. I guess we can take our basketball hoop with us too. Okay, I think we're gonna move. What sounds like a sport team? Maybe we stay in Mount Komorebi, but we just move locations. I feel like she, look at that. Oh, that's where Cannon lives. How funny, I didn't know Cannon lived there. I think this might be a good little little location for her. Um, we're gonna move, we're gonna sell the furniture. Oh my gosh, that way we have like a lot of funds. Okay, let's see what kind of like little house we could get, but maybe she had to move to a different area of Mount Komorebi just to like mix it up a little bit and she's pregnant. Her mom just died and we are on a new lot. It's kind of small. So I think I might actually leave this one here and I'm gonna go off and build the house um, separately. You guys will see that probably in a past stream on my second YouTube channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey and I'm gonna leave this one
one right here while she's like beginning kind of a new phase of her life, not in a new neighborhood necessarily, but she is moving closer. You know what? This actually makes a lot of sense. She's moving closer to Canon, but Canon didn't ask her to live together while she's pregnant and her mom just died. And I think that's when their relationship's gonna start deteriorating because she's gonna be like, I think I need support while I'm pregnant. And he's like, oh, we're moving too fast. I do not want that. And so we're level three of the athlete career, which is huge. And we are bodybuilder level three of four. So we're on our way. And we also already have the singing as level eight. We have already had one failed relationship. We're on our second. So we just need one more and then we'll be finding our one true love. Uh, so until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was jam packed with drama. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.